many different mesh router solutions are there? There's, there's, we, Eero kind of was the first one that now had Google Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. There was a Plume, there was Luma, uh, Ubiquity, which kind of did it in the enterprise first, right? right. right? Uh, now has their Amplify. I've ordered one of those because I want to try those. There, there's so many. There's one we haven't tried yet. <laughs> <laughs> but fortunately, Jason Howell has. Here's Jason with his review of the Almond 3 Smart Home Wi-Fi System Watch. Hey, I'm here with the Almond 3 Smart Home Wi-Fi System. This, as you can see right out on the table, this is the whole kit. Basically, it's all revolving around this. This is the Almond 3 itself. For $149.99, you can get one router, or you can get the three-pack because it's a mesh router connected system. It's about $400. All these sensors that you see here, they're all Zigbee sensors. Those are all separate, and they range in, in price from, you know, this uh, little window or door um, sensor is right around 30 bucks. Uh, this motion sensor is right around uh, $40. So right around in there, $20 to $40. All of this can connect to the Almond 3 router, as you see here. Now, one thing that I actually really liked about this, you can see the screen on here. Uh, this really sets it apart. You can do it inside on the screen here. So yes, it includes a stylus because it's a resistive screen here. And you can do all of the settings that you need to from the screen itself. So that kind of helps you kind of move through the process a little bit quicker. And then you can also set it up so that it displays the weather or displays the time when it's not in use. I mean, I just kind of let it time out when I wasn't using it because it's just sitting on a counter somewhere doing its job, basically. Um, so it's a one gigabit in, you can see, and then two out, 802.11bgn and AC. There's also a USB port uh, if you need to use that for anything. I'd say it's a nice, attractive, minimalist design compared to other routers that I've had in my lifetime. Uh, this one just kind of sits up, you know, nicely in the background and kind of blends in with things. And uh, setup was super easy. I think that's one of the key points here is that, especially in the mesh world, mesh can be kind of complicated to set up. Thankfully, it was actually relatively simple uh, to set it up. You, they walk you through it with the app on the phone, and that allows you to kind of get things all connected and running. Now, there is an app. Like I said, it's the Almond app here. I'll go ahead and pull this up here really quick. And uh, you can see right here, this is the screen I just left it on. You can create rules. So that's kind of one of the benefits of this with IoT devices that you can set up a rule so that if something happens, a condition happens, then these other things happen. So for example, I could set it up so that when I connect this phone to the Wi-Fi hub, when I get home, this peanut plug would actually activate power to my Christmas lights outside. So if it was after 6 p.m., let's say, and I connect to Wi-Fi, the peanut plug would activate, my Christmas lights would go on. I got to tell you, some of that automation stuff with these plugs and some of these sensors was, was so much fun. It was really nice to get in there and just kind of get nerdy uh, with some of the features. But, I mean, you've got a whole dashboard for controlling the Wi-Fi from your phone, uh, setting it into a way mode, creating scenes, which are basically like one button that controls a bunch of different facets throughout your connected home. Really cool stuff, really similar to If This Then That uh, for connected devices and very powerful. As for performance, I mean, that's really what it, what it boils down to, right? Mesh is supposed to distribute internet throughout your home equally. And I would say that the mesh, in my experience, wasn't always super reliable. I would lose connection when I was going between one point to another point, and I would really hope for that to be a little more stable than I found it to be. Yes, the screen is nice. Um, I, I wish that you could totally lock it so that, you know, kids wouldn't be tempted to get in there and touch the touch screen and play around with it. But regardless, very cool product. Um, it's easy. It looks nice. It's convenient compared to other routers that I've used. Like I said, mesh and roaming wasn't dependable. And so if that's really important to you, I'd say at least do your research before you go in. Though the Internet of Things capabilities here are a huge reason why I would recommend this. You're going to spend more for hubs to do this anyways. So the cost difference is really kind of minimal when you're talking about getting the mesh network set up with the Almond 3 and using it to power your smart home. I'm really going to miss the Internet of Things connectivity of the Almond 3 in my home. I got really used to turning off the outdoor Christmas lights from my phone instead of having to go out into the garage and do it where it's freezing cold like a chump. You can catch me on the other shows in the Twit Network, Tech News Today, all about Android and 
Android app arena. Thanks for watching. Well, kind of this, it's interesting. So this, the focus of the almond is home automation. Mm -hmm. And that's what I would have thought Google would have done with Google Wi-Fi. Right. Isn't that what we thought they were going to do with the hub? Yes, with the hub. It's exactly what I was thinking. The hub had great promise, right? And then you think, oh, you get the hub, you get the Nest. Yeah. You know, you've got all these things. And they never did it. They never did it. They haven't done it yet. Yeah. I think that's why, you know, with them renaming the app Home and all that kind yeah. of stuff, I think they're going to get there. Yeah. At least I hope they do. Well, I always look to you because I have all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I noticed when we moved, I didn't install the Nest. I didn't install the Hue. I didn't set up the smart things. It's a lot of work. It is. So I'm going to let you do it. Yeah. And you let I'll me let know. You, when know. It, <laughs> you let me know when it's all working. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs>